welcome back to another Mo Creatures update. Today we are finally going to take a look at the 1.5.2 update for Mo Creatures. Now, first things first, there was a ton of bu bug fixes, and I can't even begin to count them all. So I am just going to talk about the main things that are important for everyday mod users. First things first, there have been a few new mobs added. And that's always what people love to hear, is that there's been new mobs. And there's also been one new item that's been added with a crafting recipe. And then a couple other bug fixes. So let's first talk about the bug fixes. Or the little spawning things that have been shifted. From now on, big cats and bears will check their environment. Same with the foxes and all those other animals we discussed before. They will check their environment and spawn accordingly. So I'm in the extreme hills biome right now. So I'm getting grizzly bears and black bears. And then I should not have any panda bears, but you never know. And now because they have added the extra biomes support and the biomes of plenty support, now, if there is a biome that has the word bamboo in it, um, that is where pandas will spawn. Specifically, if you have those mods installed. If you do not have extra biomes or, or biomes of plenty, fear not. Your pandas will still spawn, but it might just be a little harder to find them. Secondly, for biome of plenty users and... I better shut the barn door. For biomes of plenty users and people who use extra biomes, um, now zebras will spawn if you have the savanna. If you have the savanna biome, I am losing my train of thought because I realize now, with mo creatures, there's so many open doors that they can easily go in and eat all my horses. Anyway, so let's go to a crafting table. Which, there's one in here, and I'm going to close this too to make sure nobody gets in there. So there's a crafting table in here, I believe. So, I will get over here. So, the new item that's been added is the fish net. So, you take your shark teeth and go like so. And then you simply fill in like that with string. So, you need four pieces of string and three shark teeth, and you get a fish net. And we will discuss that and the fishing pole changes in a moment. So let's go back out and go find some water. Excuse me, Mr. Lion. There's a river just over here. We might actually need to find an area of bigger water. So I'm going to go over here because there should be an ocean just over this way, and there's bears. Okay, there we go. Lots of water. So, a bunch of changes that have been made. There are now medium-sized fish, or there's been uh, cod, bass, and salmon added, and I actually think I see some swimming around over there. And the small fish have been changed ever so slightly. So with our new fish net and our fishing pole, you can actually hook fish now. So if I kind of aim at a fish, which there's lots of fish, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Eh. You can now hunt for fish. Or hook fish, I guess you can say. And you can put them in fish nets. So if I right click with my fish net, the fish net will drop with a picture of a fish inside. So you see little fish. And that kind of tames them, and you can run and place them in another area of water. Shabam. And now that's an easy way to tame your fishy. So instead of having fish bowls, you can now have like a little aquarium in your backyard full of little fish or medium fish but you can still put them in fish bowls but the fish bowls are still a little buggy so let's take a look at this little angel fish here because the fish textures have been redone so there is our little fishy fishy so then I'm going to go and see if we can't grab another one that's maybe a little different this one here is different Ah yeah. 
So this makes catching fish a little easier. It was kind of already easy, but uh, now it's going to be kind of similar. So that's how you tame your fish now. Crabs can be tamed the same way. So if I move that and bring in our crabs. So if I put down some crabs here, you can right click on them now with the fishing net. And although it puts a picture of a fish there, that is how you tame your crabs. So then you can just right click. So there's one of my crabs. That sounds awful, but I'm talking about the animal here. So that's how you can tame the crabs. You just need your fishing net. And I'm not sure, I would assume the fish net has durability just like everything else. But it doesn't seem to, so I'm just going to get rid of these because I don't need all these tamed animals in this map. This map is not for mo creatures. Okay, so I'm going to quickly switch back to creative mode here. Put it back to daytime so we can finish talking about the fish. So as I said, all the textures are redone. So there's a little fish. So the textures for them have been redone, and I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, it's a little anglerfish. Which I have caught. So some of the textures have been changed altogether. There we got a little anglerfish. And before, you could tame manta rays by sitting on them. We knew that from before. You can tame them by sitting on them, and now when they're tame, if I can tame one, come on, let me say on you. Once I tame one, you can catch, there we go, Manta. You can also put them in the fishing net to transport them to other areas. So this is going to be great for the survival LP. It means we can start taming manta rays and moving them into our... There we go. And it looks like it hurt him a little bit, but that's okay. So we can now uh, start taming manta rays. And stingrays can also fit in your fishing net. Which, of course, the one time I want there to be stingrays around, there is not. But stingrays can also fit in your in your fishing net. So let's go and take a look at some of these new fish. So here are some of the fish, and wow, they look amazing. So there is a Nemo right there. And it actually looks like the big fish try and eat the little fish, but this looks like it might be the salmon. Let's see for sure, because he dropped an egg here. And of course it's gone. Not there. Just. So that was a salmon. Let's see, there's a fish over here. Let's see if he's a salmon too. Oh yeah. Oh, he just dropped a fish. Okay, so there's three types of medium fish. There is the salmon, the bass, which is that one that just swam away. And the cod, which is orange, as far as I know. So, we have a bass that's kind of floating around over here. The bass is brown. They have a little bit, some spots on them. If, uh, those of you who don't know your fish. And I can't seem to find a cod. And then the small fish are the same as before. Maybe some of the textures are a little different. And then p the piranha has been given its own entity now. It's not part of the small fish. It's its own little thing. And, ooh, they're kind of creepy. And piranha are also going to check the area. I'm afraid to go into survival mode, but probably be pretty scary. So that's it for the fish. Now there are two other creatures I want to discuss. Or a few others, actually. So we can get rid of the fishies. 
and the crab. All right, so we have ants now. They're just part of the aesthetic. Ooh, weird. Part of the aesthetic uh, thing now. So there are our ants. They're just aesthetic little insects. Now when you hit a maggot, they turn red instead of white. It's not really a big a big change. Ostriches do not lay eggs if they are tame. That is a beautiful fix that I'm finally glad someone got around to. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, now when you hatch eggs, they send a message, um, a chat message. So it would be like egg hatching something or other will be in your chat box now when you uh, hatch an egg. Vanilla mobs originally despawned if they were not within 10 blocks of a fence. Now they only despawn if they do not have any artificial lighting, so like torches or glowstone, that kind of stuff. And moths have also been tweaked just a tad. If I can find a torch, I will put one up kind of over here where there's no light and hopefully we'll get some uh... whoops I don't need to oh goodness there we go so we have that and the bane of arthropods enchantment will now target insects, crabs, and scorpions it didn't before but it will now and smite enchantment will now target or affect the beautiful undead mo creatures. So that is about everything except our three new mobs that I haven't talked about. So first off, we need to wait till it gets dark here. Hopefully, we'll get some moth spawning. But there are three new mobs we have yet to discuss. So I'm going to save him for last. We have a silver skeleton and a mini golem. So I'm going to spawn the silver skeleton first because they are creepy. And we have a scorpion attacking an ostrich, which is different. So let's go over here where it's kind of dark. There, we'll spawn a silver skeleton. So that's what the silver skeleton looks like. He has silver swords on him, so if you kill him, he has the chance of dropping bones or a silver sword. If he happens to drop a silver sword, it is suggested that you use that silver sword, and of course, none of you are going to drop a silver sword. There we go. Drop two of them. The silver swords are supposed to be really helpful against werewolves. So one happened to have spawned over here. Hello, Mr. Werewolf. Please don't eat me. Hiya. I don't know if you can enchant these swords. Wow, I killed them already. That was like three hits. That is amazing. Um, let me go to the basement of the house over here and see if you can enchant these swords. I don't think you can, but it would be really sweet if you could. I really hope nothing eats my horses. Because that would be depressing. But it looks like my insane amount of glowstone is protecting them. So, back to what I was going to do. Let's see if we can enchant these. You can! That is awesome. Oh no you can't. It comes up with something but you can't uh you can't click anything. So that is the silver skeleton. I will go into survival mode. Lord help me. And show you what they are capable of because silver skeletons know how to sprint. And it says right in the forums that they can outrun the player. Which is not something you want to hear but it does add kind of an element of creepiness and danger to the game so let's uh... go over here and we'll spawn another one do I have any armor on? I do not let me grab some armor I don't need two hats 
There we go. So there's a silver skeleton. And oh my gosh, here he comes. So he does move really fast. He dropped two more. So that's kind of what uh, the silver skeleton is capable of. And I'm going to go up top here and we will talk about the miniature golem. So the mini golem just sounds cute to me. Actually, I think one spawned right here. Yes, here they are. Here are two little ske two mini golems. And they just throw blocks at you, same as the big golems, but they're obviously a little less intimidating. So... They make a little bit less intimidating sounds as the uh, big ones do. So let me jump into survival mode here and his body turned red. And now he's going to start throwing individual blocks at me. So they're a little easier to fight in terms that they only... Oh, he hit me. In the way that they only throw one block at a time. But I'm not sure how you go about getting ores, if you can. There's another one over here, so let me see if I can't, uh... Oh, that's a silver skeleton. We don't want to go near that. So those are the mini golems. They're actually kind of cute. Can't tame them, obviously. They're, uh, just nighttime creatures. And finally, probably my favorite thing to do with this update is the raccoon. So let me go over here. We'll go into the cow pasture. And we'll spawn a raccoon, and they are so cute, and they have such cute little sounds, and, oh, just absolutely adorable. So, to tame a raccoon, you need any kind of edible item, and you just give it to them, and you now have a raccoon named Hank. And you apparently cannot put them on your head. That's kind of sad. I want a raccoon to sit on my shoulder. So there's my pet raccoon named Hank, and that has been the Mole Creatures update for 1.5.2. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for more updates, because I will be posting Mole Creature Minutes about each of the new mobs, because I missed a bunch, quite a few of the mobs that have been added recently. I have not made a video about them. So I will be getting to that and lots more videos. So stay tuned to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.